Okay, we're live. What is up, Apex Tic Tac here? Uh, and I thought I would bring you some Game of Thrones. This is Telltale's uh, adventure play action adventure series um, based on the uh, Game of Thrones universe. I've really, really enjoyed um, this game so far. Uh, we're about to kick off episode six The Ice Dragon, which is the season one finale. Uh, season one has been great. I've really, really enjoyed it. Classic Telltale game. As all the things that Telta does really well, but the story's been really, really interesting, in my opinion. And of course, can I see the choices, choices, choices. There we go. Um, the stakes were raised at the end of episode five because we had to make a decision between who stayed and who lived, and we picked that Roderick would stay behind. He would ultimately sacrifice himself for the betterment of House Force. So I really like the idea of. Asher, the exiled, um, the exiled Forester Knight, kind of returning back to save his household. I really like that. Yeah, of course, he has some cell swords with him. One of them being Bloodsong. We didn't kill him. Looks like a lot of people kept him alive, which is kind of interesting. We're going to have him on our side to hopefully win back House Forester and uh, give us a victory because we've kind of been getting decimated over the previous five episodes. Um, hearing a lot of great things about this episode. I've been really, really careful to stay away from any sorts of spoilers um so yeah i'm pumped i'm excited i'm expecting some really difficult decisions uh in this episode so let's get it started i actually have two save files i have one where which kept asher alive and then another one that kept um roderick alive so i want to play as asher i think that's the more interesting story but i'm definitely going to come back after maybe i'll stream and do the roderick playthrough as well but let's get going here Should get a nice recap of what we missed. We could do with a recap. Episode 5 was two, three months ago now, I think. Come on. Previously on Game of Thrones. But now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. Last house standing wins. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. What you need more than anything is an ally. I love Mira's story. I think her story is by far the best. I think she's by far the most interesting character. I have to get in there, Sarah. Look. I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. You owe me for this. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Take this traitor away. We kept Roland alive. We had the option to kill him or to imprison him. We, we imprisoned him. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Where are you? Behind the knife or keep it? We hit it. Will that come into play in this episode, I wonder? Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Oh, Finn, I forgot about this. Finn. They're everywhere for the North Grove. Finn's dead, Cotter's hurt. We're running to the North Grove. We're being chased by the whites. 
Let me save your life. Oh, Roderick. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Shit. That was a great telltale moment. All right, episode six. Here we go. Starting off with Garrett. Up in the north. God. Can you see anything? Is it the North Road? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Okay. Uh, forest of sigil. The forest of sigil. Went to trees. I see trees. Those look like ironwood trees. They do, don't they? Hear the weirwood whisper. Hear the weirwood whisper. Haven't seen any weirwoods this far north. Beneath the watchful eye of the dragon. The north grove. Beneath the watchful eye of the ice dragon. The ice dragon. Is that meant to be it there with the moon? Looks more like a goldfish than a dragon. It looks like a goldfish. That must be it. That must be. We're close. I think I found it. You that found map it. was all based on him Are looking sure? through a tree. We can't afford to waste any more time. Uh, I did find it. I found it, Sylvie. Right under the eye of the ice dragon. Just like it says on the map. You hear that? Hey. It must be close. I hope you're right. I don't know how much further he can go. We need to keep moving. Ow! His wound is getting worse. He burns. He burns like all seven L's combined. Oh. They're still wearing their castle black outfits. Listen, Garrett. I know I'm not well. No, oh, no. And up here, up here that can get you killed. But you've always been there for me. If anything happens, I want you to leave me. Nothing's happening to you. Take Sylvie and don't look back. Promise me, Garrett. I need to know you'll do it. I won't leave you behind. Not now. Not ever. I don't want to hold you back. If Sylvie gets hurt because of it, or you. I mean this, Garrett. If I'm gone, Sylvie will need someone to look after her. I know she's stubborn and proud, but she's a good person. You know you can count on me. Thank you, Garrett. Sounds a bit foreshadowing this. I, I don't like this. Her own, but she's still my little sister. I caught her. He's helped us a lot so far. What are you doing? found nightshade nightshade nightshade's it's uh poisonous. i was gonna say it's poisonous it can help with pain remember that from the books it's rare this far north it sounds dangerous in the wrong hands it can be deadly but i know how to use it can you help just what we need north of the wall but a poison Uh oh. You see this? Whatever made this must be enormous. Claw marks. Oh shit. Gods. It's not frozen. Must be a fresh kill. That's disgusting and worrying. It's been torn apart. Oh. 
Weirwood. Weirwood whispers. Let's listen. What are we hearing? Uh oh. Wow. Of course we do. Get Cutter across. I'll hold it off. Go. I don't like this. Ow. Ice. There we go. like a polar bear thing. I don't think a bunch of water is going to stomp it. I don't think we're quite free. You're still there. Thanks, Cotter. He's done a lot for us, man. I'd be sad to see him not make it through this episode. Seven hells. Seven hells. Uh, it's dark. It's really dark. What is this? Oh. You were right, Garrett. This has to be the North Grove. Oh, finally. I don't know what it is. Look at this place. Wow. I can hardly believe it's real. Doesn't look that impressive to me. Whoever they are, they can help us. Whoever who are, I don't see people. Hurry! I don't see anybody. Sylvie losing her shit. <sighs> oh shit. There are people. Need all your strength. We need to get to that village. Come on, Carter. Help us! Do something! Oh, is he a warg? Is he working into that bear? Did we just fall into a trap? High vis. What? what? The one on the left, she looks like Ethan. It looks like the female version of the character that got killed in episode one.
That music works for me every time. Every time. The Ice Dragon, aka the Fish in the Sky. Nice. King's Landing. Mira. She's my favorite character. I think she has by far the most interesting story going on here. Although she is kind of alone now. We haven't gotten much support out of Marjorie. I don't think we're going to. We've kind of burnt that bridge. What were you thinking? Wendy, please. Do you still? Yes, Wendy. You were in, but you had nothing to do. Oh, please, Lady Marjorie. Was that Sarah? Please don't send me back to Highgard. Finally, you grace us with your. Presence. I don't trust Sarah. I was beginning to think you'd found someone else to serve. Is everything all right, my lady? What's happened? I'll get to you in a moment. Uh-oh. Do you realize how precarious my position is with Cersei? Of course, my lady. Of all the people in King's Landing, you steal from the Queen I Regent. I didn't mean... Steal? Did you know about this? Sarah's been stealing wine. Ugh. From um, Cersei, no um, less. Um, 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 As if um, I haven't got enough to worry Sarah, about. Sarah, I guess? No, my lady. He's been pretty it friendly with us. Like something Sarah would do. Is that so? I had no idea. Really? Half the servants in the keep are talking about it, but somehow you're in the dark? Mm -hmm. You're not buying it. Where's my seal? I haven't seen Fuck, it. Fuck, don't we have it? Do you know where it went, Mira? Didn't we steal it? Do you think that our thief here pocketed it too? Oh shit, we have it. Oh, my lady, please. Fuck. I would um, never steal um, from you. Um, um, I've yet to meet the thief who'd admit to Be honest? Would. I think? I have the seal, my lady. I was holding onto it for safekeeping. Yeah, that's exactly oh. what we were doing. Well, at least it's found. I'm sorry. That work? It's not right to accuse without proof. I think that work. It's just. I need order in my household. Until I'm married to Tommen, I can't afford any more mistakes. I have no choice but to make changes among my handmaidens. Oh, man. Tommen's garden party, Mira. What were you thinking? I can't believe you'd be so irresponsible. Oh, shit. Uh... I expected better of you. I had urgent business there, my lady. People were counting on me. Otherwise, I would never have disobeyed you. <sighs> I'm sure you had your reasons. I would expect Marjorie you to understand. Do. At least you're urgent business. about it. She seems a powerful woman. I don't think she'd Sarah's knock another been powerful saying woman. some damning things about you, Mira. Oh, I what a cow. I suspect in an effort to save her own neck. My lady, please. You've uh, said enough. One of you must answer for this. Do we throw her under the bus? Sarah says you used her to get you into the party. That's absolutely true. You've been with me a long time, Mira. When I'm queen, I'll need people I can count on. Please, tell me this isn't true. Oh, man. Please, Mira. What are we throwing under the I bus here? I don't know. Um, for this. Sarah's been pretty loyal. Marjorie hasn't Thank helped you. us. <laughs> I don't trust Sarah. Fuck. Sarah, please. Um, uh. Sneaking me into the party was Sarah's idea. Liar! Lady Marjorie, please! Let her speak. She forced me to come with her. Mira! How could you? I don't like this decision. I trusted you! And you betrayed me! You're my friend, Sarah, but I can't cover for you this time. You... You brought this on yourself. No, Cold-blooded. You brought this on me. You deceitful, treacherous! I think we made One a mistake here. This will catch up to you, Mira. You'll end up with a knife in your back or your head on a spike. Fuck. 
And when that day comes, I'll pray to the Seven for your soul. That's enough, Sarah. Consider yourself dismissed from my service. It was her or me, I and I feel like we enough. need some powerful friends. Get out of my sight before you make things worse. We don't really know how Marjorie can help us, though, right now. She hasn't been much of a help through five episodes. Been a little bit of a useless such bitch. A sweet girl when she came to us. Why would she lie to me like that? Something to turn her against me. Since the day she arrived, she's been angling to get closer to you, to take my place. Sarah may put on a sweet face, but she's as ambitious as anyone in King's Landing. I saw that too. I just didn't want to believe it. For all the trouble you've brought, I'm glad you came to me. I think of you as more than just my handmaiden. Oh, spare me. You're a friend. An ally, even. I've not been the best handmaid to you. <laughs> I know. Nor have you been the worst. But we both know you're not cut out for it. Not anymore. What? What does that mean? I have to distance myself from you for a time. Why? What? Why? There are rumors circulating. Oh, stupid no. lies about you and a murdered Lannister guard. But stupid lies can be dangerous. I can't be associated with this or with you until you put it to rest. I hope you understand. When I'm queen, I can help Useless. you. Useless. We picked the wrong option. Maybe we can help each other. Until then, be careful, Mira. And goodbye. Fuck. We threw away our friendship with Sarah so we could get help from Marjorie, and she's not even able to help us. I knew I made a mistake the second I made that option. Oh, this game, this episode, this game, this game. It's agonizing, boys. Shit, we should have kept... Kept a loyal friendship with Sarah. We knew Margie wasn't going to help us, wasn't able to help us. Why did we pick that? Whatever. Part of these episodes is all about the fun of these episodes is all about making decisions based on impulse, right or wrong. They're right behind us. Less than half a league. You were right, my lord. I know that snot nosed bastard Griff. He was sent to kill me, not Roderick. He wouldn't run home to his father without trying again. Listen close. I want the road surrounded. Counter attack. Ride hard for Ironrath. Don't turn back. If this goes to hell, they'll need to know about Roderick. Yeah. He's already sounding like a leader, Ray isn't he, Asher? To strike the moment I give the order. And what order is that, Asher? Uh. Just follow my lead. Do as I do. I don't really know what we're going to be doing yet. This is the most inconspicuous ambush ever. And you're done. Oh. Take them. Kill the I don't see Griffin here anywhere. Oof. Oof. There's no Griff, though. No Griff. Hmm. No Griff. He's a bloody coward. Mm. Yeah, your brother was the coward. You should have seen him squeal when Griff gutted him like a pig. This guy's got a death wish. <laughs> not backing out of this. You eat it. You eat it. 
The Lord. He's going to feel that in the morning, I think. We're going to kill them all for this. Roderick. I wish I had known him, Asher. I miss it. I wish there was something more I could say. Roderick was everything that I'm not. He was shrewd where I'm reckless. He was just. Roderick, he kept this house together. Sheer force of will. My brother was a true lord. They'll sing songs about him someday. The lord here now, like it or not, by the laws of your land. And to these men, you've more than proven yourself. I know. If I don't become lord, Roderick's sacrifice, everything we went through, will be for nothing. Oh, yeah. You'll make Roderick proud. Make your father proud. I like this. I'm glad I picked Asher. If only he could see me now. We have to go, my lord. The Lud Whitehill will be on the march. Let's move! I'm hoping we get a shot at either Lud or Griff. I have a feeling that we won't be able to take out both of them in this episode. That would be too much of a happy ending. And we all know Game of Thrones doesn't exactly do happy endings. But I do think we're going to get a shot at one of them. Back at Ironrath. Asher returns. Oh, I forgot about Roger. Betrothed? I think betrothed? Asha! this happen? It makes no sense. He died a hero. Gregor was a hero. Ethan was a hero. Now Roderick? It means nothing to me. It was his sacrifice that enabled us to escape. The last time I saw him, I stormed out of the room. Oh gosh. Talia, mother. Listen to me. We don't dare take time to mourn. Not yet. Lord is sure to move quickly now. He could be at our gates before nightfall. But there's hope yet! I've brought help! Warriors from across the narrow sea! With no equal in Westeros! Whatever their skill, they are hardly an army. That's what I said. Lady, I've seen them twice in battle. I've seen Asha lead them. They're a force to be reckoned with and will be more than equal to whatever Lud could muster. How can you say that? We've already lost. No, oh, lose the attitude. About? Ramsay Snow. He came here. He set terms of war. He said the last house standing wins. And with the Lord of House Forrester dead. I'm the Lord, I dammit. I she's right. By the terms put forth by the Boltons, we don't have a claim. Oh, Roderick yes. May be dead, but the Lord of House Forester stands before you. I will lead us in battle. This war is not over until I say it is. Oh, Asher! Oh, 
Asher will lead us. Asher is our Lord. Asher, I wish this were a happier occasion. But this sword has been held by a forester lord for centuries. No, it is yours. All hail Asher Forester, Lord of Ironrath, Lord of the Ironwood Groves. My father never trained me to be a lord. This was supposed to be Roderick's sword, but I was trained to fight. And by the gods, I will defend my father's house to the last breath. House Forester will prevail this day! Go on, Asher lad, go on. I'm really glad I picked Asher over Roderick. I really liked Roderick's character, but Asher just seems like a... The story, this, this particular narrative plot point seems very interesting. And now that I said that, he's probably gonna die in this episode. Uh. I think we survived like the first chapter or first two chapters without anyone dying, which is good. He's lying. Look at him. He's a crow. He wasn't sent here by anyone. Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. No, I was on holiday. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. All the more reason not to trust you. We're not your enemy, says the man who wounded my bear, who came here uninvited. Your bear attacked me, bruh. I could have killed you out there as easily then as I could now. You would have killed me already. He's a walk. The bear likes your kind even less than I do, so I suggest you shut your mouth. Mm, your blade pierced his shoulder, and I felt the pain as if it were mine. Don't attack you me then. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. But I could make you understand. Enough, Josera. Josera. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? She looks weirdly like Ethan. Uh, what do we have? Us believe it's not a lie. Uh, Tally's necklace? Tally's necklace has the sigil. Forester before I left. It's the Forester sigil. Made from ironwood. There we go. I think these are Gregor's children. Is that why one of them looks exactly like Ethan? Ugh, look at their faces. You trust this crow? That necklace is Forrester Ironwood. No one else can cross it as well. My friend is wounded. In case you didn't notice. He won't live long without our help. Hi, Vies. What the hell? Wait! Where are you taking him? Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? She's my friend. A wildling girl? I told you we couldn't trust him. She'll betray you the first chance she gets. My name is Elsera Snow. Snow, this she's a bastard. What is this place? I refugee bastards. against the forces of darkness during the long night. Oh, the size of that bear. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. You're a long way from home, aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. Uh, they Lord responded Gregor's to Gregor before. before he fell were, the North Grove must never be lost. What do you mean? Last words before he fell. Oops. Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago, betrayed by Walder Frey. 
They are his children. They must be. Of course. Clever little Ethan resemblance there. He has no idea who we are. I do. Why would he? You're right. a guest. He's just a messenger. All he did was use some ironwood necklace they gave him. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Otherwise, he would know. Lord Gregor was willing to trust me. Your father. If he was, then you can too. He wasn't the best judge of character. Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find shame out. Shame that he had illegitimate children? What's that? Whites. Uh oh. Gregor went f what is up with these other people? This is the gift the Grove gives me. I control this world. Ah, that's cool. What? Tunis. What? No! Let me go! If the needs. That seems. They teach you to fight at Castle. Quite Rock. unnecessary, actually. I hope they did. Otherwise, you're likely to die. Free her first. I'll fight, but only if you release her. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Maybe you're the one who should be tied up. We don't have time for this. The dead are coming. I'll untie her, but she'll need to be watched. That's one less warrior, so I hope you know how to fight. SPK, thanks for popping in. Huge fan of both the, the show Thank and the guys. books. Of course. There's something wrong with them, Garrett. No They're shit. Warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. They are under her command. Ready. Aye. Are we fighting? No spoilers, SPK. It's my first playthrough of it. I have a rough idea of how crazy it's going to get, but... Lady Mira! Wait! Tom! What is it? Gods! They're searching your room. I love Tom. I feel like something really bad is going to happen to him in this episode, though. I've got this gut feeling. Break it down! Search the place! Uh-oh. They're coming after us for the murder. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Uh, Lady Marjorie said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed. What? You murder them in their sleep. What? Sarah do that? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. Fair point, lad. Fair you point. Killed that Lannister guard. I did. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. Uh, what and message? Honestly, you mean someone's plotting against me? What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if they catch us. We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. I don't know. I I, I can't stay close to Lady Marjorie. Won't touch us if we're with her. She'll protect us. We can't bring Lady Marjorie into this. What? Why not? She can't associate with me until I put the rumors about me to rest. She's worried about rumors. They're going to have our heads. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. I don't know why Tom's helped us so, they find so much. That means death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? I like him. Um, what are we gonna do? Way? Yeah, you know what? Let's Being near me is dangerous. make sure he doesn't die. Y you should get as far away as possible. Appreciate the thought, milady. But we're in this together. Hmm. Good guy, Tom. But I don't know how to aid you now. Come on, give me something. Tell me, and I'll help you. Uh, uh, um. 
Whatever uh, it is, we can't um, stay we here. Got Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the river gate. On Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Sounds like a plan. That isn't gonna work. Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. Yeah, I do wonder whether Tom's being bossed or instructed by someone else to help us. Get to the Colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. What is he gonna do? Goodbye. What? The coal boy. Take him. Tom, no, help her. Help him, help him, help him. No. That kid's done so much for us, man. I just have a feeling he's gonna meet a bad faith. That'll be classic Game of Thrones, wouldn't it? Make you fall in love with the character and then whoops. Build him off. Oh, shit. Go, go, go! Mira told us he was gathering an army. We have heard to thank it's not bigger, but we can't fight that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. Uh, favorite character by far is Mira, and I'm really liking Asher too. But Mira for me has had by far the most interesting story. She's really well written, and I like the Ryan. fact that she's with. Crossbows up! Oh, Ryan. Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He looks a bit right beaten up as well. Anya! <laughs> What the fuck do you want? Well, Lord, you must not have much faith in this army of yours if you feel the need to hide by my little brother. <laughs> you mistake me, Forrester. Ryan is here for your protection. Yes, yeah, Asher's so great. I really like him as well. Being stupid. You see, I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men, but it's time you listen to reason. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or we could end the bloodshed. How do we fight that? Here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. Oh shit. By Ramsey's rules, I'm the victor here. Forrester's to us, Lord. This will all be mine now. One way or another. Are you truly that blind lord? I am the lord of House Forrester! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> He's the fourth Lord Forrester. I've seen This kid needs to fucking father. get it, doesn't he? Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. I don't trust his terms. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood? Under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine. For all to see. By wedding. Oh, Gwen. 
<laughs> well, fuck me. Asher, you can't. It's rather generous terms, actually. That would be easier to believe coming from Gwyn herself. Generous terms? Seriously. Fuck off. Far away from all this, of course. Besides, I speak on her behalf. Yeah, Griff is oh, ridiculous. Really well written character, though. Easy to hate. I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, oh, no. I brought home the body of your lord. That's all we need. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <clears throat> we'll take Ryan too. But you want peace between our houses? Give me my living brother. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. Yeah, I think Ethan struggled because he wasn't given that much time. But I was enjoying his character before he got all stabby stabbied. It's all kind of been downhill for House Forester since then, hasn't it? You probably don't want to be here for this. Could this be some sort of Trojan horse thing, I wonder? Surprise, White Hills. Oh man, they're gonna make us do it. I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. You deserved more days than what you were given, brother. And a better death than this. The world is colder for your passing. Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept it's not that easy, though, is it? Heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven. It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. Yeah, he's I've loved Gwyn once, but it's not as straightforward as that. And Lord will have my head the moment Gwyn produces an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. Agreed. We have to kill them, Asha. Agreed. Oh, piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill mm, them all. A little bit reckless. We ride for war. We Make ride. her stand here. Spill their blood. No, no risk. Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But Lord still has Ryan. A direct attack is a sure way to see another forester dead today. But. There may be another way we could win this. Mm. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord at the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. But off the head of the good, snake. But how? Lord will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lord is uh... well. Simple. We tell Lord exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? An ambush. Your pit fight is hidden until the last moment. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Yeah, that's a terrible idea. Lord could escape. There's another way. Poison. In his wine. That's also a terrible idea. A woman's weapon. Yes, and a good one. Lethal and direct. Either plan is high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole what? family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. 
We're already in danger. I'll be there, Duncan. I'll pour the wine myself. Poison is dog shit. You're here for revenge. You want him to choke on your blade, not his vomit. Both of these plans no are control. Everything could go wrong. Pathetic. Poison is targeted. Lot will be the first to fall. I'm sure I have such a toxin in my stores. No. Yeah, the poison isn't going to get to Lud. Wet my sword in Westerosi blood. Poison it's never gets to where it needs us. to go. We are at a crossroads, my lord. We have to make a choice. These are the only options on the table. Come Asher on. Is our lord now. The decision is yours. I think I know why we're losing this war. It's because our options suck. Um, poison isn't going to get to Lud. It'll probably kill one of us. Stage and ambush is probably going to backfire because it's going to probably kill one of us. Um. God damn this game. What do I do? Uh, poison or ambush? Poison or ambush? Poison or ambush? Um, we have the free fighters, so an ambush would probably be playing to our strengths. Oh, I don't know what to do. Fuck! Hate this game. Should we do poison? Poison or ambush? Poison. We're gonna go poison. I understand what's at stake. It's a horrible plan. The poison is the surest way. This is a horrible plan. Then we have a plan. It's a bad one. Oh, <laughs> it's a terrible one. It is not gonna work. I don't know why it happens it. I need you to get Ryan out alive. Oh no. As soon as we move on, Lloyd. Poison's gonna probably backfire. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lord. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. See, so the poison option also invites him into our house. The last time we invited him into our house, it kind of went badly. There you go, SPK. If you've not seen the, um, the poison option yet, I picked it just for you. She's left the key. I feel better about my option now. I do have a save file with Roderick alive and Asher dead, but I haven't played it yet. I plan to do both. I hear they're quite different. Lady Mira. There she is! Take her! Uh -oh. What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake. D don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. Morgren, I think this his name is? Lord Rickard Morgren. Morgren. The most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. Lady Mira, I hope these men aren't bothering you. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about a few tankards. We are badly in need of Thank some friends in King's Landing. Our city safe. I wonder if this is- Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mira? I wonder if this is our opening. Is it worth buying? Definitely. If you're a fan of the TV shows, absolutely. If you're a fan of the TV shows and the book, it's a no-brainer. It's not that expensive, and I, I, now's a great time to buy it. Thank you. The river gate, quick as you can. As you get all six episodes right now, so What's you don't have to on, wait. Mara? Is there a problem? Um, 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 um. Maybe I can help. Um, um. Someone's plotting against me. Honesty is the best. What do you mean? Way right now. They're spreading malicious rumors, and worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly, you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and left. Andros was a snake working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he was being a bit too honest more. here, but I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. 
Yeah, I definitely recommend it. I think it's great. Now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. What sort of agreement? The Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. Like this. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think sort of alliance? Could accomplish if we work together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. Yeah, you're a bit creepy here, mate. You're clever, Mira. Thank you. When you faced down Andros at the coronation party, well, let's just say you showed how formidable you really are. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Uh oh. Imagine a handmaiden stealing the crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guy Fuck. to kill you. Are you kidding me? You look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. God. Do you really think you'll get away with this? I already have. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira. Uh, is it different than the books? So this particular season starts at the Red Wedding and so far runs up to the um the end of season four. We're kind of approaching the end of season four of the TV show. So it's uh it's running concurrently with the um with the with the TV show. The first episode starts right at the Red Wedding. So if you're familiar with the TV show and the stuff that happens with the TV show, um you'll be very familiar with uh with the different points in the story it doesn't run at the same time as it it's not based on the books or anything like that they've kind of created their own fiction around the main moments of the tv show hey specky but it's time to get you out of the way can't have you complicating things fuck you're making a mistake morgren I have powerful allies. We don't Bring really. Bring word to Cersei, and you'll be in the cell next to Andros. You're oh. mistaken, Mira Forrester. No one is coming to your aid. I think he's right. I don't really know who we can turn to. Tom's captured. Sarah's pissed off. Oh, hit him. We've arrived. Fancy coming across you here. God. I seem to have found something you're looking. Like this gets bad to worse, isn't it? I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Uh, Finally, should we use the Marjorie Lady card? Marjorie will hear of this. She'll have your head. Lady Except Marjorie she won't want nothing to do with you. Yeah, girl. he's right. It's time for you to answer for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. Jeez. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Did we just f mess that up? Yeah, benefit of buying it now is you get all six episodes too, so you don't have to wait like me. If you bought it when episode one came out, they released every, an episode every two or three months, so it was a little bit of a... a bit of a wait. A bit of a kind of disconnected experience, but if you buy it now, you get all six episodes. You can kind of play them back to back. Forgive my brother's temper. It said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. I knew that, I guessed it. And we are his bastards. They did telegraph it with I your face. Anyone knows. Ethanella. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. That's why you're here, isn't it? I suppose. Josra would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. Josra and Ethanella. He was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. I haven't built much, have you, though? In fairness. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. 
few try, and fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. Cotter helped. I had help from my friend Cotter and and Sylvie. But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming. And we haven't much time. What? Gregor Ven Fion, the that meant to be blood magic? It's a shame we didn't find her earlier. We could have used this power magic thingy majigger to maybe help House Forester. That's a big bear, isn't it? Nice. Even nicer. I don't have to do much right now. I'm ready to stab something though. Oh god. Nice. Very nice. These things are creepy though. These quick time events seem a lot quicker than what they've been in the past. They seem a lot smoother too though. It doesn't seem to be that super weird sort of laggy stuff. Yeah, let's bow it up. I'm pretty terrible with a bow in this game, but let's bow it up. Uh, 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 one running at me. Holy! This is probably the best action sequence you've had in this game so far. Oh God, Finn! Oh no! I don't want to hurt. Poor Finn. He's still moving? Still moving. Sorry, Finn. God, that was a good action sequence. Is it done? See, you and I can't get along. Yes, I was yelling. I should have burnt him you then. Know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Castle Black music in the background. Ended. And now his watch has ended. Yeah, brand warging stuff is gonna be so good. You fought well for a crew. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. I would. Although I admit you can fight. Mutual respect, sir. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle. You did alright too. You fought well yourself. Your bear did. 
I've always wanted to name a dog shadow. I like that name. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. What? Did you see what they just did? What the hell? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. These warriors are weird. Weird, weird, weird. I do think they'll be useful. A weakness, according to her. Yeah, something, something ain't right. Off about them. I'm not sure what. They've been trained to fight. Nothing else matters but that. Apparently. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. I need to go back. How did you command them? The warriors? I told you. There's a power here. Well, this must be why the North Grove was so... To the village. ...secret and important. Fulgar She's drawing power here. from it. That's allowing her to control these warriors? Did you not hear me? Uh -oh. Ooh. What? Wait. Fulgor and Vicenair. Fulgor and Vicenair. I don't know what tongue that is, but sounds pretty freaking great, doesn't it? Back in line. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The, the blood more magic. she uses it, so. the weaker she becomes. The blood and the magic gave it away. It. <laughs> Elsaras a f keep taking these risks. One yeah. Day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. So he's not a fan of it. She was right about one thing, though. The whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? Well, he sent me here to protect to it. Wrath, to crush really. our enemies south of the wall. And avenge his death. We can't leave the North Grove. And stay here to die. I live. I know what my father said. North Grove lost. Exactly. But he would want us to die because of it. It's a tough decision. She's losing her ability. Is it even worth Where's staying? Sylvie? Never trust a fucking oh, no. thing. What now? Where are you, Sylvie? So I think we're going to need to have something pretty incredible happen to us. <laughs> Is that Sarah laughing at us? What have we got in here? Always start with a window. What I wouldn't do to get out of here. <laughs> That's obviously not going to work, but... <sighs> not getting out that way. Always worth a shot, isn't it? Oh, that's disgusting. Ugh, disgusting. Agree, that's nasty. Nice work, art department. Rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. What significance would they have? 
Looks fresh. Looks like they didn't make it to the block. This looks a lot like Tyrion's cell. When he came to visit him. Teeth. Can we maybe use that for something? Oh god. Those are human teeth. Pick them up. No? Door. There's a torch up there. Oh, we can pick up the torch. I don't know what that'll do for us, but... We have a weapon of some sort? Something we can pry open? Jailer! Please! Shut it! Please come here! How strong are these bars? Probably stronger than the, uh... Hurt you have in your hand. Maybe. Oh, uh, no. Hey, get away from there. Oh, oops. Jailer, Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God, woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like He's hysterical. That. What do you want then? Tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me. Ugh, bastard. Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. Oh, look. You can leave the judgment to the father, whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I... I meant no offense, but we have to keep our heads held high, even when everything else is taken from us. <laughs> I have a son, a little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. What would you do in my place? Oh man, that's a tough one. Uh. I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Agreed. Mira, making uh, friends prick. already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. Hey? For your trouble. What? Nothing to say. Block will do that to you. No, oh, no. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. Where are you here? Huh. Good to see you too, Mira. Why are you here? I've come to make you an offer. That's why you're here. I was thinking about what you Is this said. our way out? Your relationship with Seth. realized there's something far more valuable than your friends at court Mira my Ironwood your name oh I want you as my wife um, oh wow your wife <laughs> all your wooing and cells I'm new to courting but what I a bang up individual and intimidation Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms too. Fuck. And 
I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Marrying me won't help you get Ironrath. The title belongs to my brother. He's the rightful lord. <laughs> I'm well aware of the king's law, Mira. You think I haven't thought about that? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. Harebrained fool. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. So we'd rule together, as Lord and Lady of Ironrath. <laughs> That's an amusing thought, but not what I had in mind. What a prick. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect spot wow. for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my air. What a prick. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. Agreed. But I can get you out of here, Mira. Oh. One word from me, that coal boy. Oh takes no, your place not in Tom. Book. No. All you have to do is agree. No, no, no. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. Come on. But you'll be alive. Come on. So, Mira, what do you say? I can't do that to Tom. He's done so much. I can't do... Oh, my. I don't know what's going to happen if I say no, though. Oh, I can't do that to Tom. I can't do that to Tom. I can't you do it to Tom. You will never have Iron Wrath, and you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fuck. Fine. Have it your way. Oh, man. I hate video games so much. I want to say she's too important to kill off, but... Oh... Yeah, pretty much, SBK. It wasn't... She won't get far. An enticing Not option. I want to say she's too important for them to kill, but it's Game of Thrones, man. And I know Telltale are just as ruthless. <laughs> Ethan L. Death Stare. When you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. There's nothing that will save him now. Which is why I needed to do something oh, for no. me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The Nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrett. What would You're he the want? one who can. I'm not saying anything. He's in so much pain. That's what his sister wants. And he's about to die for sure. Do I really have a choice? Yeah, SPK. It wasn't much of an option. I just... I'm just worried I just... Killed my favorite character, that's all. These guys are freaky as fuck. 
What do I have on me? I have a necklace, North Grove map, and uh, Nightshade. I love the way their heads just track me. Eh? Wash dish! I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. This is for Cotter. You can't give him that. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. I think that's the idea, isn't it? Kill him peacefully? Oh, that wound! Gareth. Gareth, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? That wound is disgusting. Oh, see her. Where is she? Uh... To... Don't worry, she's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. Remember your promise, Garrett. Promise to protect her, I'm assuming? Uh, you have to protect hmm. Sylvie. Ah. Got her. I can't bear it anymore. I think we can so give him the night shave. Night shade. Our man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. Yeah, I thought you could so save you could him. Help him. I wish I could. Ethan Ella. I'm afraid it's too late for that now. But he can still use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. Why are you giving it to me? In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. You're more a forester than me. I was just a squire. Right that you should have this now. It doesn't seem right at all. I'll take it, You're though. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forrester proud. What to make any sense to me? You'll do okay. What's necessary. Your friend is dying, but his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. What? His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. Uh... An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. You crazy woman! You must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. Jesus. I'm ready. Please. Can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Oh, I have to pick? Give him that poison. Oh, holy. Oh, no. Um. Let us use his blood to give us strength. Use him for blood magic. Strengthens this woman. Strengthens her warriors. Out there, you saw what's possible. Possibly lets us help House Forester. Giving Carter the poison. The what does giving Carter the poison we do? The weakens her, weakens her warriors. They possibly kill all of us. But it's Carter though. He's helped us so much. And the sister wants us to poison him. Oh, um. I fucking hate these decisions. Uh, 
given the poison or the blood magic? Poison or blood magic? I don't know how the blood magic helps me though. Or is the poison? Doesn't help me either, but it keeps Sylvie in my good book. The brother said that he doesn't want the sister using blood magic either. We're gonna give him the poison. Give him the poison side with the brother. Fuck. I'm sorry. Fuck, I'm this episode is ridiculous. This is my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. That's right. Then so be it. Oh man, and now his watch has ended too. Oh shit. Fulgorn Vicenir. We must burn the body. I don't think she's too happy with me, but she hasn't killed me, so that's probably a good sign. And we have our first death of the episode. First notable one, anyway. Came a lot later than I was expecting. <laughs> Back to the bad plan. The wine is ready, man. You're for. Once they're all seated, give the signal. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. This is gonna go horribly, horribly wrong, isn't it? Gwyn. Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester. Oh, man. My apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asher. Why? I bet Duncan has the wine. He gets poisoned. He's out. KIA. That's my prediction. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asher. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asher. Uh-oh. You're not the one to roll over so easily. Uh-oh. You don't like being pushed into a corner. Yeah. It's not in your nature. Eh, changed. Things are different now. I'm different now. But you have nothing to worry about. You were always a terrible liar. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive. No hidden agenda. Just peace. Once and for all. I trust you, Gwyn. I know you've lost a lot, and and I'm sorry, but things will get better. I doubt it. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Good. Is he? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know, and that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asha. This is our one chance. Together we Jeez, can maybe she takes the wine. Houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. I have to promise, don't our I? Future. Do I have a choice? I, I must... Your assurance. 
Nothing will happen. Fuck. Um, I got my word. Nothing will happen. Thank you, Ash. I think I had to give him my word, boys. I think this all goes. Begging your pardon, my lord. The shitty plan goes up in smoke if I don't. Lady Forrester requires your help. Of course. Preparing the wine. Wink, wink. Thank you, Asha. Yeah, I don't trust her either, actually. Although she did, she has helped us quite a bit. She met with Roderick too, remember? What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord. It was the best I could think of. <laughs> Duncan. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Oh, man. Um, um, you know what? We're going to do it. We've committed to it already. We're going. Ready the poison. We're going. Of course, my lord. This is going to go horribly. We're both there, Griff and Lud. We want Lud. He's the one we want to kill. Elisa, I'm sorry it's come to this. Fuck, I'm so nervous. My son. Right to it then. It's a good point, SPK. Her advice hasn't been great. Oh, my baby. Oh, oh my baby. Enough blubbering. You can have him back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. Fuck, I'm so nervous. Lord Whitehill. Sweaty palms, boys. I'm nervous. Asher. Now, who'd ever have imagined this? You, welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other oh, side shit. of the bloody world. You honor us, Lord Whitehill, with your presence. And with this union. Honor you? I didn't take you for an arse licker for it. <laughs> Father, don't bicker. Asher's showing you respect. Somehow, I doubt it. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Jeez. Make ah, it obvious for you. Drink. I'm bloody parched. Talia. How you fetch the <laughs> Fuck, how obvious are we making this? This is so awkward. We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. This is I'll horrible. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. I don't want to sound like, like we're bending over for him. Your worthless ass in it. It's just a chair. By all means, sit in it if it makes you That's feel better. important. What? What did you say? Or not? Something not very friendly, Father. Or not? What are you up to, Forrester? Fuck. Curtsy like your sister one moment, then act the blowhard. Oh, the next. no. Do you even have any idea how thin the ice is here? Calm down, father. Oh. Ash has been amongst cell swords so long, <laughs> he's forgotten how to behave. Teach him some manners then. Oh, my God. This is so tense. This is epic. This is brilliant. This really is. Oh, poor Ryan. Clean those cheeks, someone. So, Lord Forrester. You made your ways a soul sword out there, did you? Hey, a little rape, a little murder. You are insufferable. Price. And your family must be so proud. And all those bed slaves are soul swords. Uh, to uh, oh. I just keep quiet? I can't imagine how my sister will be. I'm gonna keep quiet. I'm not gonna say anything. Because I'm so scared Even the wrong decision is gonna true. fuck this all up. Enough bloody nattering. Sit the hell down, Griff, and let's drink. Just drink, mate. This, this is not gonna go the way I need it to go. Just drink. <laughs> a toast. We should make a toast. You're so. Oh. What shall we toast to? Come on then, let's hear it. To our alliance. To Gwyn? Don't make me sit to Gwyn. waiting to drink. You won't have a smart ass answer for Gwyn. To Gwyn, my betrothed. Without you, none of this could happen. To, to Gwyn. Gwyn. 
No, no, no. Fuck! This isn't right. You first, then me. In the way of the north. Oh my god. Let's drink together as lords of our houses. Oh god. Let me. No. Let it be you and I who seal this bond. For our houses. For our children. No. No, no. I, I can't stop her. I can't stop her. I have to kill Lud. I can't stop her. I can't stop her. Iron from ice. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the if you have any sense, you won't swallow it. What did we just do? Hmm. Not bad. What did we just do? Oh no. <laughs> water. Feed me water. He's choking. Help him. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. You fucking poisoned me. <laughs> Oh no. No! Oh no. <laughs> My god. This is insane. Uh oh. Oh no. Get him out of there. Can you please kill him? Stab him. Finish him off. Finish him off. Oh, no. So different. Quinn. Goodbye. Oh, oh, no. Don't let him run. Don't let him fucking run. My god, we got Lud. But it also cost us our mother. <laughs> this episode is insane. So good. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to say. That was wild. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. What now? Uh, we've been betrayed! <gasps> They killed my father! Attack! Attack! Uh-oh. Take down the gate! We can't oh, fight shit. that many! We're doomed! If they breach the gate, we're done for! We can't fight the entire White Hill army! My lord, your wound. Get them to safety. Of course, my lord. I want to stay with you, Asher. Please, Talia. Here we go. Holy! Ow! You gotta protect the gate. I don't know how we're supposed to protect the gate, but we gotta My protect Lord, the gate. Your command. Uh, defend the small fort or defend the gate. We have to defend the gate, don't we? we take the gate? It's an obvious we decision. Fight on then, fight on, fight on. 
Oh, this is good. This is good. Nice work. Uh-oh. Shields up. Nice. This is probably definitely the best action sequences that we've had so far this season. This is fun. Good idea, Westerosi. Let's give those fuckers a welcome to remember. Go on, finish him off. Let this be the moment we finally get him. Oh, fuck. Asher Forrester. Oh, no. You've come a long way to die. <laughs> nice. Didn't work. Let's see you live up to your reputation. Uh. Rally to your lord. Shit. Got a mo oh no. Go on. Got a monster. Look at the size of him. What? Hey, 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 hurry the hell up! I don't know who that is, but I think he's fucked. Oh! Appreciate your sacrifice, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, what? I pushed it! I pushed it! What? What? I pushed it! Oh, God! Oh, how gory is this? Finish him! Finish him! Oh, yes! Man, oh man, oh man. I think I'm wounded. I think. Oh man. No, Asher, not you too. Is it for us? You kidding me? This is all going as horribly wrong as I thought it would go. Oh no. Oh fuck. 
Fuck, iron from ice. Iron from ice. Oh, Duncan? We have to get you out of here. Come on, Duncan. I'll be damned if I let another lord die on my watch. Save yourself. You must survive, Asher. Come with me, let's go. For the house. For all the Now. We're leaving? No, Duncan. Holy. Oh, we're doing pretty well to staying on that horse, let's be honest. I'm not sure how he hasn't just jackknifed right off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, also, are you doing the Roderick playthrough after this round? Probably the, the Roderick stuff probably on another day, man. I might need a break after this. This episode is exhausting. It's, it's been great, and we don't know what's going to happen to Mira yet. We don't know what's going to happen to Garrett yet. Is that the last we see of whatever happens at... Um... Ironrath? The episodes normally run around two-ish hours. I feel like I've been streaming for about that time now. At least she's happy. Ish, I guess. As happy as someone could be. You did the right thing. When I standing next to their to brother's do. funeral pyre? She was your friend. Is this for me to do? Yeah, that is a ridiculous wound on Asher. I'm not sure how. I don't know if that was me. Like, I thought I hit the prompt. Maybe I missed the prompt and that happened, or maybe that was just scripted all along. I'm not sure. I really like the Castle Black music in the background. This moment, this. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives. Now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason. To protect the North Grove. Winter Same is reason I was sent. And we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how Forrester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. Gregor trusted you for a reason. You know defending House Forrester is the right thing to do. You're the one they sent, Garrett. You should be the one to decide. Even though I'm not directly related to your father. Uh, stay here or march south? So I don't really know if marching south... ...means anything right now, because the house is kind of fucked. Whereas staying here, we protect the North Grove. We stay with all that weird, creepy blood magic stuff, but... Um... Well, we were sent here to make sure the North Grove wasn't lost. So I think we should stay. I don't think there's any benefit in marching, marching south now. Um... You know what, we went against the sister on what to do with Cutter, so we'll go with her here. I will respect Lord Gregor's dying words. The North Grove will never be lost while we breathe. We will defend it. Man, this episode is wild.
Yeah, I wasn't expecting all of the loose ends to be tied up in this episode. What was that? I was expecting this to feed into season two. I hereby sentence you to death. What? Oh no. Are we gonna get saved? I think we're kind of out of cards to play here. Marjorie, no. Sarah, no. Tom. No, Sarah's there too. I don't think we can expect much help. I think we made a mistake picking Marjorie over Sarah. But I don't know what else you could have done differently with Mira this episode. Other than accepting the marriage, no way I was going to do that. Bring forth the next prisoner. Fuck. They're not going to kill her off. She's like my favorite character. This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. No. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor. You prick. Shameful. Oh. The necessary. She did it. I disgraced her, her family Kill name. Her. Oh, man. Her. I don't like this. Mira Forrester. In the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, Ender. I sentence you to die. Shame! Raven! Kill her! If you have final words, Shame. speak them now. Fuck. She's innocent! Raven! A brave woman! Shame! Oh my gosh. Somebody help? You're gonna make me kneel too? I hate games right now. I've gotta do it all by myself as well? Somebody help. Oh my gosh. No way. No flippin' way. I loved her character too. Oh my gosh. Why do I waste my time with these games? We went like the first hour of this episode without killing anybody, and I thought you we were doing great. Hmm. Well, that felt like the right decision then, didn't it? Staying and defending in Earthgrove. It was a nice little scene. House Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? 
father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne. Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. One second, boys. But She didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. Then she had the audacity to go behind my back with Tyrion when I'd clearly forbade it. And that day she pushed me to ask Joffrey for help when he ripped my dress. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. <laughs> Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead. Everyone's mad at us. Good playthrough. Done. I needed a sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should run then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff White till beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But then. He tried to stab me with my own blade. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. Roderick. A savior who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. I suppose. But he had heart, fighting with a former slave by his side. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But there was no easy answer. But then he told me the truth. He'd risked losing all he had come here for to stand by his friend, a former slave. In the end, that mattered more than disobeying an order. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I don't know if Mira ever understood that, Grandmother. I know she told me the truth about Sarah, but she also broke a promise to Sarah to keep it secret. In the end, I respect that she was willing to do whatever it took to get what she wanted. So high a cost. I could have told you this story wasn't coming. A happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. Bastard upstart houses go to war, father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They fought hard, I'll give them that, but they were reckless. Shrewd when they should have been bold. Impetuous to the last. When will these northerners ever learn? Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. 
I like that voiceover stuff. I thought that was excellent. 28% bought with cunning strategy. That's kind of good, isn't it? I don't know what the alternative is. Shit strategy? What a great episode, though. That was phenomenal. I really enjoyed that. Feeds in nicely into a season two, although I don't know if I have the effort to play through season two, given how stressful so oh, season one was. What's this? Usher? Hell yeah. My lord. <gasps> Royal Lynn, I forgot about him. We didn't kill him. He's still around. We don't have much time. They may have won this battle, but they will not win this war. Wow. Alright, Beshka got Ryan out safe. Oh, <laughs> shit. Please be the end. Okay. Oof. What a playthrough. Alright, so you and 31.1% lied. Okay, so a lot of people stayed loyal to Sarah. That's what I kind of wanted to do. I kind of felt I made a mistake as soon as I picked that option. That was kind of interesting. I don't know how that would have played any differently. 76% refused to marry Morgan. So, 76% <laughs> of people killed Mira, which is fucked up. 47 gave Cotter a merciful death. So that's pretty much halfway. That's kind of interesting. So people, a lot of people picked the blood magic as well. Only 26% poisoned... Lord Whitehill. What was the other option to the poison? It was the ambush. That's interesting. That's really interesting. We weren't big fans of the poison option. We picked it because I thought the ambush was guaranteed to get someone that we liked killed. I'm curious to see how the ambush um, the ambush uh, playthrough would have would have uh, resulted in. Hopefully it wouldn't have resulted it would have resulted in a different outcome. Like maybe your mother doesn't die. And then forty five point five. So roughly fifty percent stayed to defend the North Grove. That actually I thought would have been a lot higher than forty five percent. I thought that would have been comfortably over fifty as well. I think the refusing to marry Morgren and the staying to defend the North Grove are probably the two obvious ones. I guess we got one of them with the majority and one of them not. Um that's interesting, though. The fact that only 26% of people picked the poison option. Yeah, I'm curious to see how the ambush one would have played out. And, yeah, that first one is a lot. I, I would... I, I was... If I were to go back and play again, I would have picked the... Um, the Sero one. Not only because I know that the decisions that make got, got Mira killed, but... Um, that was my my gut instinct initially as well. Wow, that was an incredible season. Uh, I know some people are asking in the chat whether I would recommend it. I absolutely would. Um, it's fun if you're a fan of the show. It's great. It runs events concurrently with different key moments of the show. Um, it stays true to the lore of the show as well, um, and a lot of the backstory of the show. Um, it's it's a fun game. Like that, 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 um, that was definitely some of the harder decisions and choices that we've had to make up until this point. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I feel like I need a break. I need to lie down for a bit. That was intense. I'm glad I played through that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I don't think there's anything else that's coming after this. I don't need any more 
cutscenes to play with my emotions. Man, Mira is dead. That's the most that's the most striking thing about that episode. I really liked her character. I thought she had one of the more interesting storylines. Not that the others weren't interesting, but I was always really excited to play her scenes. Wow. Okay. I think I'm going to end it there. I do have the Roderick playthrough to go through, but I'm probably going to play that. Um, it definitely won't be today. I'll probably play it tomorrow or another day. Um, maybe I'll stream it. I don't know. Uh, but if you've been watching, thank you very much. <laughs> That's been a lot of fun. I really enjoy that. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys online.